Oh gosh. It's like today was the first time in forever that I went to martial arts class without my own duffel bag of gear. So when you borrow their class shared one, your hands stank for two years straight. So um, I'm beginning this vlog. So I wanted to share like a new book that I'm reading because I just feel like right now the theme of my videos moving forward um, would definitely just be like one reflective of the daily adventures of my life. Um, my work that I do in art studio and whatever challenges I'm doing that I might share so that you can connect and maybe benefit from my like trials and lessons and I just really want like my content to exist out there in the world to bring comfort and enjoyment to you and honestly to me too so it's like a win-win so one of the things that i would do is like i'm pretty much always reading two books at once nonfiction and fiction so like especially at the beginning of a book why don't i just you know update you from time to time if you're reading at the same time it would be like we are doing a book club together you can tell me your thoughts on it so i just picked this up last saturday from the strand i bought the book like not even looking at it and then i flipped it over i was like oh I've listened to their podcast before. Today, something I noticed when I was on the subway is I was really shy to like hold up the book with his like big face right there. And that made me just begin my reflection at the fact that I really care how I'm perceived even to strangers. Like I used to think that it's like maybe my viewership or um, close friends and family or whatever, but like literally just being out in public in New York City twice this week i have two lessons to share with you like one i'm just like reading this book and i'm like oh i don't know why i feel weird about people knowing it's a self-help book and i think it's because there's like stigma or even like jokes about self-help books being fads or being like like a fake attempt to improve yourself but you're just like kind of in denial or lying to yourself so then like that there's that and then there's also the baggage of feeling like if you need self-help books or you seek that out it means that you're just inherently like um more fragile and you like need that help and you somehow didn't learn how to do it all on your own you know i don't even know where all of the, these subliminal principles came from but like they're just like in my brain i'm trying to unlearn them i also felt shy when i was on my electric scooter going to my studio and there was a construction zone and I had to stop just to check the, the maps because I haven't memorized all the different routes yet. And as I was pulling off the curb, I noticed that there were like these traffic cones, but I wasn't, it was just, it, it was a split second when I was leaving the curb and I rolled right across a line of wet tar. And then like, as soon as I like saw it approaching, I was like, oh, that's wet. And then there are these two construction men, maybe like 50 feet away, kind of like looking at me. And I'm just like, ah. it stuck to my tire. And it was like, mm -hmm. so then from that day for the rest of the week, I tried peeling off the tar, but there was just a lot of like gravel and other random dirt that stuck to it. And it like solidified by the time I arrived to my studio. So I'm still not decided like on, should I peel it off? Would it like rip? my wheel um should i just like let it chip off on its own but because it's just a little bit thicker than the wheel is supposed to be it scrapes on the plastic cover da, 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 and then people <laughs> turn and i remember feeling really tense like i hate this like i hate that i sound like this like i bet that so like i kept thinking like i bet that stranger is gonna tell me oh hey i think you have something caught and I don't want that to happen for some reason because my ego is telling me like I don't like being told what I already know and I don't want them to think that I don't know this. So after like two different trips where I was feeling uncomfortable, I was like, okay, here, what are you going to do about it? Are you really going to like peel off all of this or are you just going to wait until it falls off? Or I think the other more likely result is that it's going to... um scratch away at the plastic until it literally creates a new cavity and there's going to be no more like clicking sound but for now i kind of just like don't care and i'm just going to keep riding the scooter with that sound my two instances this week that i realized that i'm really self-conscious and i feel like i just want to move away from that and be 
comfortable with who I am. And I already know I made progress in that because I remember talking to a friend who started at my martial arts place and she was saying how she was shy about certain things like wearing nail polish or like having like pink uh, accessories because when you're in this environment that's like very very masculine a lot of times like I'm the only woman when I started at this place I also felt shy about having toenails painted and like um, now I just don't care at all because I guess I'm very familiar with them and I really feel like this is my third place. But I definitely felt like I was driven by what I thought they thought of me. And the opening of this book is identity and there's an interesting like epiphany. I am not what I think I am. I am not what you think I am. I am what I think you think I am. So that's like, you know, I could relate that back to the whole nail polish thing. It's like. I think that they will think this of me and it's not even that they do think that and it's not even what I think. Uh, it's just like that constant perception that we are entangled in, like that illusion. So that was really interesting. I'm only like 20 pages in, um, but another couple of things I wanna highlight is like we're getting to the values part of identity in this first chapter. And there's this section that's like auditing your life and like something that I have never done actually. I had insomnia, it haunted me and I realized that my brain was being stimulated and I was like really addicted to social media and to an extent I still am hooked on that. Um, but definitely I don't spend as much like active time. But then I've never like done an audit and I feel like it's because I'm in denial. Like I'm like scared to face, mm, oh here we go. So screen time on Instagram, we shall see. How you use time spent okay 18 minutes average yesterday 15 19 sunday two minutes saturday i guess i didn't even open it <laughs> friday 14 minutes and thursday 48 minutes so i was probably like watching reels or doing something that day so okay all right i think that's okay with me i think like an average of like 20 minutes a day is fairly okay because um, my conscious decision to use Instagram is to use it to check up on people that I care about or find inspiration. So that's why I follow like artists and their posts really delight my day and like make me see my own life differently because of their unique perspective that they can share. And I don't use Instagram to like fill my time because I don't want to be with my thoughts. and. There are definitely times where I feel restless and I want to do that and I have a suggestion for you if you want to do that. Like when I have a reflex to go on my phone, I like check out what they recommend and then I have a bunch of saved ones I can go back to um, because they suggest articles all the time within their other ones. So I'm like, oh, you know what? This topic, I'll come back to it. So yeah, those are my tips for being present right now, like kicking off this vlog. And now I'm going to wash my hair make dinner, and unwind for an early night. I have no idea where I got this red skirt from, but I just knew, I was like, I think I have a red skirt. Maybe I'll make an apron eventually. Um, but most of the time, I don't really get my clothes dirty. It's gotta be, yeah, I'll just be mindful of it and see what happens. Plus, even if it does get, say, like oil paint on it, then I'll just reserve these clothing for when I oil paint, which again, is a lot of the time, so. Now that my helmet's off, I can do my hair. And my hands on go. side salad with Japanese dressing and put everything together with a heaping dollop of sauerkraut. I actually have been for over a month now incorporating 
daily rituals of cleaning and vacuuming my home. Definitely when I feel more down and unmotivated, I can see how that reflects in not sticking to my routines and the mess accruing everywhere, which kind of compounds to make me feel more or further buried under the clutter and the mess. So in these times, I try to be kind to myself and remember that it's not a race and that I prioritize what I need to in the meantime and now that I feel like I do have the bandwidth, I want to show my home my love and respect so I'm picking up and luckily I live alone so the dropping the ball of my habits from time to time won't affect anybody else's boundaries and that's what I'm doing. I'm really glad that I could come back to this place to clean my home from a loving lens and not from a scarcity. and now I'm gonna go get groceries and meet up at Sarah's house for dinner. That's it. <laughs> Cha ching Are you planning on getting like a wheel and stuff in your apartment? Like, I hope so. so. Like maybe like be on the market for a second hand one. Maybe even get like a small kiln. so nice catching up with my friend Sarah. We even walked a little bit in Central Park and enjoyed dusk. And then I'm back at studio where I left a bunch of my belongings. And I'm gonna go to a friend's birthday get together at a bar. And I know there's gonna be like karaoke, she mentioned. And I think for like the longest time, I've been like really wanting to do karaoke and like in front of people too, but I'm just so, like I keep telling myself growing up this like story that I'm, I can't sing in front of people, that I'm very, I have stage fright, all of that, and now I'm just thinking like, I'm ready to shed those narratives. So, who knows? Good morning. So the karaoke didn't work out. <laughs> the machine was broken, and then they finally got it up and a massive line went. So I was like 10th in line and I had to go because I definitely needed to sleep before midnight so that I could go hiking today. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I've been vlogging for like six years. What's it called? Um, it's my channel. It's just my name, Animal Gal. If you ever saw oh, okay. across it. I subscribe to you. Oh my god. I, I don't watch YouTube that much anymore, but I yeah. guess oh. that's so funny. That's awesome. <laughs> Stop here because I have to go around and see where it goes. Good shit. Don't you feel so good? Because you weren't great. sure if you would have been able to do it. Very satisfying. Wow. One day I do I want to throw my phone off the mouth. I don't know when I would do that or why. Shit. Maybe like if I, when I get my new phone, I'll bring my old phone up here just like toss it. Right? It sounds so fun. You don't want to like trade it in for the new no, phone. No, I'm gonna toss it. Up. <laughs> it's 
I think there's two. station because we got lost and we went to the medium trail instead of the short trail and now we're gonna go home finally made it home showered so clean oh man tired <laughs> the vlog here because it's the beginning of a different week for me and I'll catch you in the next artist diaries I have this fundraiser going on and by the time you see this it's going to end in a few hours so if you're interested in entering this raffle giveaway then go to the link in the description I'm raising money to donate to the Maui relief funds I hope that you have a safe and relaxing for the rest of your day. Bye!